All right, what's going on guys? And welcome back to another one. So this one here, we're gonna install uh, a red water diverter valve they're called, or a, uh, what other water name? Saver? A red, uh, pretty much a water saving device. So what these do is when you turn, cause we've got instantaneous gas hot water. So whilst you're waiting for the hot water system to warm up, all that water's just getting wasted when you free cam. Uh, and another thing we've learned is it fills your gray water tank faster. So this here is not only gonna save you water, but it's also gonna make your gray water tank last longer. So when you turn that hot water tap on, we're gonna plumb it so it runs back into one of our um, water tanks under the van. And the way it does it, there's a preset valve inside. So uh, it won't let the water or the hot water fully flow until it hits that preset temp. So we're pretty lucky our hot water system's underneath our seat and then our water tank plumbing is also under the seat. So it makes it really easy for us to install this. Um, so we'll, we'll come in for a close look and I'll give you a basic rundown of how this is gonna work. So this, the black pipe is where your cold water comes up and in uh, and the white pipe is where the hot water comes out. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna mount the hot water system uh, on the floor, something like that, uh, with an elbow that will go down uh, and connect to the supply line for the van of the hot water. So this is running to all our taps inside the van. Uh, and if you look at the valve, it's got, so this is where your cold water comes, uh, the hot water comes in, hot water goes out, uh, and this is the return. So the cold water, um, or the not hot enough water, I think you'd call it, or the, the warm water goes back to the tank. So that is how I'm gonna mount that straight up like that. So yep, yeah, we'll, we'll cut into the pipe here. Uh, the, the water from the hot water system will run across and into the top of the valve. And then the return line will run just along here and back through to uh, our supply pipes for the tanks. So for our tanks, uh, I'm selecting to put it into the front tank. And that's because of the way our water tanks are positioned under the van. So that way we'll just trickle feed back towards the um, the, the draw bar, uh, and we use the front tank first. So we use our tanks a bit funny. We use front, then rear, and then middle, because uh, that's how they're sort of positioned around the axles. So, and then our drinking water is in front of our front water tank, and then our gray water is all the way at the back. So it sort of helps distribute that weight a bit more evenly as we're using water as well. All right, so we'll get into it, and uh, we'll give you some close-ups of how I do this, but it's a pretty quick install, so it shouldn't take us too long. Uh, all the parts are from Reese Plumbing, pretty much. All right, so it's just, what you'll need is some 12 mil uh, out of diameter John Guest plumbing. Um, I've only got about a metre. I've also got some little bits left over from the last time I played with plumbing on our previous van. You'll need some elbows or however you're gonna run your plumbing. Everyone's gonna be different, but some elbows to go with it or some T-junctions. Um, so these are threaded John Guest fittings. Uh, so it pretty much allows you to thread it onto something and then the quick disconnect for the, the plumbing pipe. So I've got one of these, and this is how we're gonna tap back into our, um, our fill point lines. And then on the valve itself, we've got three more of those as well. So, and then just a couple of clips that are gonna go around the end of this and just hold the pipe back on there. Um, they should work, that's what they should use everywhere else on the van, otherwise some zip ties would probably also work as well. All right, let's get into it and we'll just do a bit of a quick time lapse, I guess. All right, so I'll quickly explain how the fittings work. Um, so the pipe just slips in uh, and then you'll see it's locked, so you can't pull it out. So to, to disconnect the plumbing, what you do is you pull the, there's a little collar. If you can see that, there's a little collar there. So you pull that back and hold it flush and then the pipe will slip back out. So that's how you loosen the plug off. Uh, to, so you can get the pipe in and out. So for those that aren't aware, um, the white pipes are the breathers for your tank and the, the black pipes are the feeders. So this runs directly down and into the tank. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into this black pipe uh, and install this fitting and then have the tap sort of come out around the back here, I think. So it'll probably do a nice little out the back sort of style. Um, and that way I, I'm not gonna obstruct this flow. So I'm gonna cut it down here as low as possible um, and have it run that way. Hopefully my cutters will work on this pipe. We reckon down there somewhere. Once it's done, it's done. Now, hopefully, I bought the right size fitting. <laughs> So slide your clamps on now over the pipe. It's the right size. So once that's on, you just wanna um, do the clamp up, and they're just an over center clamp. Uh, I might I might use zip ties yet, I'm not too sure. I'll see how they go, I'll test it and see if it leaks, but it should be fine. Um, so we've got the bottom one on, and now we'll give the top one a go, and then we'll um, give it a run. So for these clamps, I've just got them at the back so they don't rub on anything. And um, I sort of just tried to line up one of the grooves so I can feel the tip is there. So I'll just go up here. And then they're just a clip style. So you squeeze them until they're tight. And that's it. And that's not coming off. Can you come get dressed, Dad? So. Yeah, come get dressed. I'm going to go 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 get dressed. Sort of probably angle it down and run it across the floor. There's a little bit of free play in it, so it's probably go to. On the bed. So sort of just measure it out roughly, and then we'll yeah, just cut through here. Now we'll sort of just go like that along there. So we're going to pin that down to the ground like that. I'll probably just get, I reckon probably just one sticky dot thing or something. Just to hold that pipe out off the heater. Alright, so here it is all done. Alright, so I zip tied this uh, to the elbow on the hot water system. Just so it's not flopping around anymore. Makes it a much nice and tidier install. Um, that's pinned down now. I haven't, I haven't pinned this down yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably put a, a clamp here, maybe just in the center, push it over to the side, just keep it out of the way. But for now, that's fine. Uh, and this is all zip tied back up, nice and tidy. Um, I did find that um, some of my hoses were loose here and, and leaking water as well, so that might be worth checking if, if you're under yours. But All right, so finished installing it now. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll just, I'll turn the hot water system off and what that's going to do is make it just keep recirculating 
uh, back into the tank and, and um, that way I can check for leaks. So we'll leave it run for a little while, make sure there's no water leaks or anything, uh, and then we'll screw it down to the floor. Um, and all I'm using to screw it to the floor is I've just got some uh, little wood screws. Uh, I'm not gonna go too deep, but I did hop under the van and make sure that you're not gonna hit anything under there as well. Uh, Cause that's pretty important. You don't wanna screw through and punch or something under the van. But uh, I'll give you a look how it looks now um, and we'll flick the hot water system on. So um, pretty much when you turn the water on, it just trickles out as you can see. So then we'll come down and we'll just check, make sure there's no water leaks. So as you can see, like I said, I'm gonna put a bracket here. I don't think I need a bracket on the other side. Um, it's not gonna move anywhere. So this is where the line originally ran from here to here. So now uh, our hot water supply comes across into our valve. Our valve waits for the water to get hot. And while it does that, it's now running the water back in to our front tank, which is there. So we've ran it across to there and that's all connected in. No leaks there. I will pin this to the floor about here somewhere. Um, not too sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Probably just a little clamp or something. I'll see how I go. And then the water, when it gets hot, will come out and come back through here and go to uh, all the, it'll go to all the taps around the van. So the hot water shower outside, your shower inside, your sink, your basin. So it's really, really good. Uh, we're not wasting any water or minimal water. Like it's just a pure little trickle that comes out of the tap. And I'll turn the uh, hot water system on now and you'll see once it gets up to speed, there you go, the hot water system's now up and running and we've got full hot water. How good is that? So water saving, water saving and gray water tank saving, which is a big plus when you're gonna go off grid for a while. That's a massive big thing for us. Um, the ability to not fill our grey water tank full of clean water and we're not wasting any of our fresh water as well. So what we'll do is um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how much actual water we save. So we're about to go out and free camp this weekend. That's why I've installed it. So what we're going to do is when we come back to the park, I won't put any water in our front tank. I'll have it completely empty. And what I'll do over the course of a week um, for us using the shower, using the sink, We'll, we'll drop in another clip and show you how much water has been ported back into the front water tank. So that'll be pretty interesting to see how much water goes in there as you cycle your taps over um, you know, a week, which will be, will be interesting. So let's do that and then uh, we'll wrap this one up. But um, like I said, ours is going back into our front tank. And when we do the walkthrough video on the van, you'll see why that is. And I'll explain it a bit more then and how we use our tanks. But... All right, so following on, um, with the red water valve install. So we've pretty much got five days or just over five days and we've just hit 100% um, on the, the tank uh, that the red water pumps back into. So that's our front tank. So there you go. So about five days of us, you know, turning the hot water tap on and off, uh, we've managed to fill up 95 liters. So when you're off grid, that's a fair bit of water. Like that's another week that you could stay off grid um, and that water's not going into your gray water tank either, which is another big plus. So, uh, big reason um, to install one of these valves in your van. It's a highly recommended mod by us. Um, again, if you like that one, uh, if you like this one, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll keep doing what we're doing. But um, this is a nice, easy install. All up, it costs uh, just over 200 bucks, I think. So the valve itself is the most expensive thing. 200 bucks, a uh, bit, couple of bits and pieces from Reese were about 10 bucks. Um, and then these, uh, these, um it's like a john guest plumbing tool or i don't know what you call it it cuts up to 50 mil pipe uh, and i just picked this up from uh super cheap auto for 10 bucks as well so that's been handy to have um but yeah if you've got any more com comments or questions drop them below guys and we'll get back to you but uh thanks for watching again and i uh, hope you get something out of this one and you can do it to your van all right see you next time guys have a good one